All right, everybody. Here is why you're going to buy all these figures. Right here. This guy is Marvel Legends Warlock from the X-Men Build-A-Figure series. He is the Build-A-Figure. You must buy all but one of the figures to get this guy. He is incredible looking. He is gigantic. Uh, for comparison, we will use, say, Colossus to start with. So you can see how tall he is. He is a big guy. He is mighty tall. Uh, most people remember Warlock. He's shown up here and there and pretty much everywhere every so often. He is a very uh, memorable character. So there you can see him with a Wolverine. He's big. He is mighty tall. He is perfect for a Builder figure series. Um, articulation is similar to all Marvel Legends. Got a nice little click in the air crunch there. I have to keep him way back on the screen because he is that big. Uh, paint job is superb. He has that metallic -y metal. Go for the bird. Oh, they plug in here. Look at that. Okay, so there you go. So I was wondering about the arm plugs. They plug into the back. Right here and here. I actually don't like that too much. It inhibits his... Okay, so there you go. There is one problem that I see. These tubes here are supposed to plug into the back there. And to do so takes a lot. And then you have a strain on the pipe. And strain on this pipe. So yeah, well, that is a disappointment there. So not perfect. And these are reversed, so let's fix that. Okay, so the smart thing is that they did with the joints is they made it look like gears. So by making it look like gears, it, it fits in perfectly. So let's see if we can... There we go. That closes his arm up a little bit. That's good. Um, the sculpting on this guy is absolutely incredible. It's a beautiful sculpt. Joints are perfectly hidden. Just to the point where it almost doesn't even look like he has joints. He's just such a fluid figure. Um, paint job is superb. He is absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you know Warlock, if you've ever had any uh, exposure to him, you'll want to pick this figure up. You'll want to build the build a figure, which is going to make people get mad because you might not want all the characters in the build a figure series, but that's how they get you. But I don't think they could have done Warlock any justice if they put him in any smaller scale. He is one of those characters that needs to be a build a figure. The pipes, I, I keep trying to get them to plug in, but they are not plugging in very smoothly. So that is a little bit of a problem. Uh, I personally wish that the plug would have just plugged into his arm somewhere. Having the pipes go across to his chest is a little bit of a problem to me because it kind of limits the range. But overall, I think it'll be okay once you get used to the pipes being there. They do unplug easily, which is good for the fact that you won't break them. All right, so Colossus came with his head and an extra bit. He came with this extra nice little buzzsaw bit. So I do believe the buzzsaw can be put on either hand. So let's try that out. Let's try the fist first. I'm going to pull them off camera. I know you're seeing a white screen now, which is never fun. But the hand popped out very easily off camera. And the buzzsaw popped right in. So that works on that side. So that's cool that they give you an additional piece just to mix up a little bit. Um, he is a living computer, as it were. He is part of the phalanx, which is like the kind of like the Borg, kind of like the blob and the Borg put together. Um, so there you go. He is cool. He is absolutely cool. He is fantastic. That house sculpt is amazing. Let's see if we can get you in there. Yeah, look at that. Look at that crazy head sculpt. Paint is superb and fantastic and all around awesome. He is worth it. He is definitely worth building. Um, I just got done reviewing Titus from the Marvel, uh, Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 series. And that one was not worth the build a figure. This one absolutely is. He is somebody that you want on your shelf. So let's see if this hand pops out. Oh yeah, see that one popped out pretty easily. I did it on camera. I'll pop this one back out. 
There we go. We'll swap it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then we'll just bring the fist back in. So yeah, the buzzsaw can fit on both hands, which is pretty smart. They picked a they picked a weapon that could fit on both hands. They made sure that both hands could swap out. So you can do the buzzsaw and a fist, or the open hand and the buzzsaw, or the fist and the open hand. You also have the other uh, creepy hand like it down here. Look at that. So look, look, it's like it's a, it's alive. There you go. All right. So there you go. That is Warlock, an amazing figure that they picked for uh, the Build a Figure series. I think a lot of people are going to want to build this guy. If they have any connection to him whatsoever, they're going to want him. Is he worth uh, buying the other guys? Absolutely. Uh, makes it worth it every penny. Uh, if you don't like the guys that you're getting with him, sell them off. Sell them off to help pay for this. That's what I've done in the past. I, I recommend it if that's what you don't you don't want to leave figures in their package or don't want to leave a bin full of figures that you're never going to play with. Sell them off for half the price. Keep the build a figure for ten bucks. Ten bucks a piece. So there you go, everybody. That is Warlock. We have one more figure to go who is not a part of the build a figure aspect of it, and that is Wolverine. We're going to look at him next, and then we're done.